tires are rubbing on the inside of your body mount, possibly the inside of your wheel well, one of the solutions for that is to do what's called a body mount chop. And you'll see people say uh, BMC, they'll call it BMC, body mount chop. So a body mount chop is where we actually go in and physically cut the steel body mount. And Toyota, when they build these, build these trucks, they put this oversized body mount on them um, that has a, a big tip on it that doesn't really do anything except get in the way on our, on our oversized tires hit them. So what we do is we, we go in and we cut that away and then we weld in a small piece of metal to trim that off. And when it's done correctly, it looks factory. It looks like how it should have come. So on this particular truck here, this is a late model third gen Tacoma. Uh, it is rubbing with its tires that's running with this lift kit. It's rubbing on the plastic. We can see that in the plastic. We can also see where it's rubbing on the body mount. This is the actual metal body mount is this thing right here. And we're going to come in and cut that and then weld in a, a metal piece that's going to fill that. Now, on older, like an like a 07 FJ Cruiser and so forth, Metal Tech has our body mount chop kits feature a formed piece of metal. And then on the later model trucks, like this one, we've gone to a single plate and it's all laser cut to exactly fit that body mount when you cut it down. The advantage of these kits, now you could certainly make this with any just random piece of steel if you had one. The advantage of the kit is that this is going to show you the profile that you need to remove in order for it to fit correctly and for the, for the tire clearance. So it's okay to use this as the guide as you're grinding so you know how much to remove and then where to stop. So we're going to go ahead and start marking this up and, and uh, get this cut. What we're really doing, we're not bringing it this way. We don't want a lot this way. We really just want a flat area going back like this. Okay. Yeah. So we're holding the plate up, we're using it as a guide and we go ahead and start cutting into it. And as we get it to just about perfect, we'll go ahead and pull like a flap disc out to blend things a little bit better prior to putting the piece in its final tacked position before we go ahead and fully burn the thing in. All right, so the body mount's been ground, ground away. It's almost ready for a, for a perfect fit. Um, it has a little bit further to go, but we're right about there. So we're gonna be having this piece come in. We're putting it where it's actually inside a little bit. It's setting up like that. We're gonna center this. It's not quite absolutely perfect. We're gonna bring it in a little bit tighter. We'll get it a little more perfect and then we're ready to start welding it up. But that is literally the guide for the chop. How much do you cut away? That's your guide. And then put that plate in there. Like I said, it, we're just about there. So we're gonna finish that up and then burn it in and this side will be done. So once it's tacked in and it's a nice spot, you're gonna come in and fully burn it in. And once we're done welding it in, we're gonna come back with a flat disc and blend the welds and make them look extra pretty. And you know you're grinding when you start smelling burnt dog and realize it's you. All right, so we've welded the plate in. Um, Cutting in it, we, we went ahead and grind the welds down a little bit to make it look as OEM factory as possible. So one of the things we're careful about is that when we're welding this in, we don't overheat the body mount. It's a big rubber mount, and we don't want to torch that thing. So when you do your welds, small, short welds, skip around, um, and then make, keep an eye on that. Make sure you're not torching that. So once we're done with the blend, we're going to come in with the uh, spray paint and get some touch-up on it so that we have no chance of rust, and so it's done complete. Body mount chop is now done. Uh, we've just gone out here and been able to test it in the field a little bit. Left, right, hard turns, verifying the tires are clearing full articulation. Uh, we're clearing and turning, we're not hitting anything. We did cut some of the plastic as well of the wheel liner. Remember the wheel liners are just these big plastic uh, tub things and you can cut it. Uh, they actually cut with a box knife. That's what I use to cut it. If you're not sure where your rubbing is and you maybe you hear some rubbing, but you're not sure where it's coming from, one of the tricks you can do is that you can get a, uh, a body, uh, a powder uh, at a department store or a drug store, I guess, and it's, a, it's body powder in an aerosol can. And you can spray the powder uh, very lightly over the inside of the wheel well and then drive the vehicle. 
and then let it rub and come back and then look where the powder's been rubbed away. That's like a really good way to find if you're not sure exactly where you're rubbing.